One of the main topics with DPW Director John Westerling was procedure of cleaning the roads after a snowstorm. It, you know, just perfect time. It just happened to have the man that we can talk about snow. It's our own DPW Director John Westerling. Hi, John. Good afternoon, Mike, and good afternoon, residents of Hopkinton. The timing was perfect. We have got a blizzard coming in, and uh, we scheduled this. So, this is this is outstanding. And it, you know, a lot of people don't know what it takes to keep these roads clear for a storm, before and after, and what have you. But they just are custom of the nice, clean roads. So today, I just want to give a little insight on what does it take to get these roads clean, you know? And, and it's not that, oh, the snow's coming down, let's call and wake everybody up and go out. There's a little bit more to it than that, right? Yes, that's a, a wonderful question, Mike. We have, uh, for, we're fortunate to have a very dedicated crew here. The, the snow removal operations, those are all managed by our highway manager, Mike Manser. And uh, he lays out the plan for attack of the storm and then we've got all of our highway and water and sewer employees. This is an all hands on deck operation for us. So those folks are again, dedicated to making sure that the roads here in Hopkinton are safe for travel, that commuters can get to and from work uh, and that folks can get around as they need to and get home safely to their families. So the planning starts with making sure that all of the equipment is ready to hit the roads that the salt spreaders are operational, that the plows fit the trucks and they're ready to go on. Uh, also, making sure that we have plenty of salt in our salt shed. Uh, last week, we had, just on Friday, we had 15 trailer dump loads of salt that were delivered. Wow. If you, if you wow. follow us on our Twitter page, you'll see a great photo of our loader pushing all of the salt up into the salt barn. Um, and then it's a matter of being prepared and watching the forecast. We watch every one of the news stations. We also have uh, Precision Weather, which, which gives us a forecast for just Hopkinton, Hopkinton centralized. But as any New Englanders know, uh, the forecast isn't worth the paper it's written on. It can change based on, uh, based on the way that the wind is blowing. Oh, that's a great photo. There you go, based that's on the Twitter feed, yes. Yeah based on the storm fronts, the highs and the low pressure areas. Uh, so it's really, we've got to be flexible and nimble to be able to, to move depending upon what the storm brings. Uh, the guys came in at 5.30 this morning because there was a little light dusting of snow on the road. So the guys came in and they spread the salt to make sure that you know that would melt, and the snow wouldn't stick to the road. So uh, right now there's not too much accumulation on the roads. I was just coming in, the roads are starting to get a little greasy. Um, but we're, we're ready. We're ready to go. DPW Director John Westerling also talked about the procedure of cleaning the sidewalks. We strive for uh, black pavement as soon as the last snowflake falls. Uh, like you said, there is a competition internally, but we're all one team. We're all one team serving the community. Right. Now, also, you also have to take care of sidewalks. Yeah. You know, what, kind of, what kind of mission is that like now that we, especially they've added all those, uh, Sidewalks on the east side of town, what, 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 what's that like these days? You have yeah. extra equipment for that now? So we, uh, we were very fortunate in that uh, two years ago, we received a third sidewalk machine. Um, but you have to picture, we're out there fighting the storm and every one of our plow operators has a route that they have to cover. Uh, and then at the end of that route, we've got three operators for our three sidewalk machines that have to then get into a sidewalk snowblower yep. and drive uh, 17 miles of sidewalk. So not only are they fatigued from 5.30 this morning through the last snowflake, but then they've got to get in these machines and they've got to clear the sidewalks. Uh, so you talk about dedication uh, to the community, but you know that's, that's equally important because we've got folks that love to run on the sidewalks, folks that are walking uh, to and from school, and we want to make sure that that's safe for, for everybody.